Well, I thought something hit my house. That's how bad the first blast was. At a jam-packed meeting at Government Centre last week, neighbours blasted the developers of the 120-acre former Polaroid site. A family picture came crashing down on my computer at that point of the blast. Now, you know, what am I supposed to do? Oh, well, I'm supposed to go along with this? We're not important enough for those investors or developers to be here tonight to, to talk about this. Hagop Hagopian said that this light fixture fell because of blasting the day before. The mayor said that, that you, you're going to be covering damage to sewers for the next 10 years. What, what about the damage that's, that is going to be apparent to my home for the next 20 years? You're driving me crazy. This has been going on for 15 months. You're, you're killing me here. The blasting supervisor responded that 85% of the work was done and that it was in compliance with state regulations. There's, there's a tremendous amount of rock out there. We're, we're trying to get it blasted as safely in a timely manner as possible. And again, we are at 15 to 20 percent of the legal limits. We are far below what is allowed by state and federal regulations as well as the town of Walton. Jennifer Patton lives and works in the affected neighborhood. My office building now has dirty water because of the impact to the lines of water coming in. She asked the mayor that a mitigation fund be set up. To help neighbors with property damage, foundation damage, etc. Also on hand were local unions who set up an info booth outside. So when you see the big corporations come in, you know, you, you got to stand up for the little people. And, and that's all we are, just the middle class little people that have broad shoulders and work very hard and bring uh, prosperity to our community. They press reps for 1265 Maine to hire union members from Waltham as construction plans move forward. Oh, and, and I don't want to hear, we'll meet with you later on. I want to hear a commitment from you folks tonight. Jim Lamp, an engineer for the developers, said that 80% of the work to date has been union. But he added that decisions about contracts would be up to the site's owners who were not in attendance. But, but I'm not, a, I am not an owner at the point that can make that commitment. So I, I apologize, but this is not the place where I can make a commitment or anybody else can. The other worry was traffic. Volume will multiply in residential streets near the site after phase one is completed. It was a mess with Polaroid. It's going to be a mess again. We have to get the traffic on and off 128 without going through our neighborhoods. Mayor McCarthy said the developers are working with state and federal highway authorities to create traffic solutions for 128. Not an easy task. And it's a very complicated process because if you have a change to the interchange, you impact the entire federal regulation system. The meeting was intended in part to name tenants with plans to open as part of phase one. Market Basket could be up and running as early as December or early 2014. Other tenants are the Chateau spin-off Jake and Joe's, Bonefish Grill, Marshall's and drive throughs for a TD Bank and a Starbucks. Phase two will include an office building. Lamp said that it was three to five years off. This Lakeview resident could hear some of the blasting from her home last week. Um, I'm looking forward to an opening that I'm looking forward to Marshalls and Market Basket and things like that being that close and not having to go to Burlington or Watertown. For Waltham Newswatch, this is Chris Wangler.